Hey guys, I'm not dead. Wow, I can just tell you're excited. No, but really, I'm back. I'm sorry for not posting for so long. Basically, my life's just been a huge mess. If you found my Instagram, then you probably know why I was gone for so long. I don't want to get into it here, so if you really want to know, you can ask me on Instagram. But moving on, today I will be reviewing some fake LPS I bought from eBay. I know I'm kind of late to the fake LPS bandwagon, but I don't mind all that much because I was looking forward to making this video. I did not buy the fake LPS short hairs that everyone's been talking about. Instead, I bought some fake collies because <laughs> collies are like my life. So here they are. I'll go over each individually later, but for now, let's look at the general characteristics of these fakes. All right, so this collie is authentic and I'll use it to make comparisons. And yeah, I'm gonna use this collie and not my mascot because uh, I don't really know why. But what I do know is that there are a lot of collies in this room. And you know what that means? We should have a collie party! <sighs> okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Wait, that's not a collie. One of the most obvious differences between the real and the fake is that the real LPS has a bobblehead. These fake collies don't have bobbleheads and their necks are stiff. Honestly, I think it's pretty unfortunate that they don't have bobbleheads because where's the fun no bobble? Another difference is the eyes. The authentic collie has glossy eyes, but the fakes have dull, matte eyes. The difference is pretty noticeable. And I actually just noticed this now, but the eyes on the fakes are not symmetrical. See, this collie's left eye is not the same as its right. It's kind of hard to tell, but the pupil in this left eye is higher than the one in the right. Also, this little white dot is higher up in the collie's left eye. In the collie's right eye, the dot comes in contact with the green stripe, whereas it is not in the left eye. I know it's pretty hard to tell, so I'm sorry, I'm being really picky. <sighs> Was that confusing or boring or both? Sorry. But if it makes you feel any better, now that I've noticed the asymmetry, I'm probably going to lose sleep over it. I'm that one person who literally would not be able to focus on the rest of class if the teacher forgot to erase that one tiny dot on the whiteboard. The heads on the fakes appear to be slightly thinner and squishier, but it's kind of hard to tell. The collies do have holes in the Hasbro logo like the authentic ones do. Other than that, there's not much of a difference between the fakes and the authentics. However, I do think that the fakes would look a lot less, well, fake if their eyes were shiny. So the first fake collie I'm going to review separately is the rainbow one. I must say, I really do like this one. It's probably my favorite out of the bunch just because it's so adorable. This fake is based off of the rainbow bear, but sadly I do not have it to make a lengthy comparison. I will put a picture of the rainbow bear on the screen for you though. Overall, the two look pretty similar. The colors are pretty much the same, and the collie even has black under its ears, which I suppose is cool. But I must say that I don't really like the ears having black under them. It's neat, but at the same time, I think I would like it better if the collie was pure rainbow. Because nothing is better than pure rainbow. Next up is the black and white collie. This one is really cute too, and fortunately I actually have the LPS it was based off of. So one of the first differences I noticed between the two is that one is a cat and one is a dog. Yes, yes that was a joke, calm down. Okay, but seriously, one of the first differences I noticed is that on the short hair, there's a lot more white on its neck, which I guess makes sense since LPS collies have, uh, shorter necks. But on the collie, this white part looks more like a sort of painted on collar. With the short hair, the white actually looks like a part of the LPS. Oh god, that made no sense. Wow, clearly I need more sleep. I think I'm gonna go hibernate now. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, it's you again. Still? <sighs> Fine, I'll finish the review. No need to be so pushy. The collie does not have white under its ears. This is kind of strange because the rainbow collie had black under its ears since the LPS it was based off of did. However, with this fake, there is no white under the ears even though its short hair counterpart does have that. The two look the same from the back. The only difference is that the collie does not have the LPS logo. The short hair's underpaws are painted white, but the same cannot be said for the collie. The collie's underpaws... Okay, that sounds really weird. <laughs> I don't think it's a real word. Are just black. The paint job isn't that great here on the paws either. They obviously didn't want to paint the bottom of the paws white, but there's still some white paint overlapping the black here. <sighs> and yes, I know I am being super, super picky. Sorry about that. It, it's just, I spend so much time criticizing myself that it feels good to criticize a plastic toy once in a while. <laughs> And the last collie for today is this brown collie. Yeah, yeah, I know. The review's almost over. Boo hoo. So sad. It's a tragedy. This fake is basically the collie version of this Great Dane with the dot eyes instead of the star eyes. Right away, you may notice the color difference. The paint used on the collie is a much darker shade of brown than the paint used on the Great Dane. The Great Dane is more of a warm chocolate color, whereas the Collie is more like a uh, cocoa powder. Yeah, can you tell I'm a chocoholic? See, the paint on the Great Dane is just a bit more vibrant, which can be said about most authentic LPS when compared to fakes. Like the black and white Collie, this Collie does not have a different color under its ears like its model. The Great Dane has a pale taupe color, which is also a lot less vibrant on the Collie, on its ears, muzzle, chest, and legs, and of course around its eye. With the Collie, the spot around its eye is actually separate from the taupe shading on its muzzle. With the Great Dane, the taupe coloring on its muzzle and around its eye is not separate. It's all one big blob, whereas with the Collie, there are two separate blobs. Wow, that also made no sense. I guess I'll have to hibernate longer next time. The spot around the Collie's eye is also more pear-shaped. The spot around the eye on the Great Dane is more... Uh... The shape of a weirdly shaped pancake. Yeah. They look pretty similar from the side and the back if you ignore the difference in color. The same can be said about the bottom. So, yeah. That pretty much wraps it up. I must say, I really do like these fake LPS. I think that they're all really cute, and I might even use some in my videos. But I do want to do something about the not glossy eyes. Anyways, before I go, I wanted to say a few things. To start off, thank you all for your support. It means the world to me that there are actually people out there who watch my silly videos, and for the most part, don't hate me as much as I hate myself. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Whenever I'm having a rough day, I just go to my channel and read some of your guys' amazingly sweet comments. You have all helped me so much. Words can't even describe it, so thank you. Another thing, I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload as often anymore. This is because my life is insane right now and it's hard to make time for YouTube. But no matter what, I will do my best to make that time for you guys. Anyways, that's it. I have a lot more to say, but I don't know how I could properly explain how I'm feeling, so I'm just gonna leave it. So, thank you so much for watching this video, you beautiful person. Bye, and see you next time!